Hi, my name's Dr. Kevats, and I'll be doing a cranial nerve examination on you today. Is that alright? Perfect. So, first I'm just going to ask you your name. Okay, I'm just going to write it down. quickly your name of birth. Okay. I've heard that you've been in an accident. I'm sorry about that. Um, could you tell me is there anything that is bothering you currently? Okay, perfect. So, you do not have any concussion, um, you do not have any headaches or anything like that. Any troubles hearing since then? Okay. Any blurriness in your vision? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So, um, just let's get straight into the examinations. So first, I'm just going to look at your face, look for any abnormal bumps, lumps or anything that could be potentially harmful, okay? That would be from the accident. So I'm just going to look at the side of your head, at your temples, at your temples. Okay, okay, now just let me check your nose. Do you mind if I actually press it a little bit? Okay, tell me if there is anything that is hurting. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, was there anything painful? Not at all. Not even here when I moved the cartilage. Okay, that's great. Now I'm going to be pressing your sinuses, okay? So, above your eyebrows. Anything painful here? No, great. Now, here. The maxillary sinuses. Anything painful when I press? Anything painful? No, that's great. Okay, and now what we're going to do is that I'm just going to be pressing your DMJ, which is basically a joint right here. I'm going to ask you to open your jaw. Great, and now move it from side to side like this. Great, that's perfect. I'm just going to be pressing on your jawline, okay? Like this. Again, tell me if there's anything. Okay, I'm just going to check from the side and look at your ears. So let me just check the ears. This seems to be normal. Now let me check the other side. Okay. I'm going to press a, um, the mastoid. Okay. Now just tell me again if you feel any pain. Nope. That's great. So now I'm just going to quickly check your symmetry. So eyes, now your nose. Okay, let me just check your mouth. Your mouth. That's great, and now your cheekbones. Okay, yeah, they are. They are level. It seems that um, 
one of the sides of your face is a little bit more down and one is a little bit more up you know this side actually seems to be a bit more going down and this side a bit more going up but the asymmetry asymmetry is um, really just tiny and barely visible if I were into professional I probably wouldn't even notice okay so now I'm just going to try your vision we are going to test it I will ask you to look at both of my hands or just basically look straight ahead that's how you will see my hands and I will lift my fingers up I will uh, lift number two or five and you will say two, five basically whatever number you see on my fingers is that understood? it's actually pretty simple I don't know why I explain it so difficult, okay? so let's just go for it and so let's try it two correct four Yes, you're number one. Okay. One again. One again. Great. Three. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, apparently, you're good at counting. So, let's just try something else. I'm going to cover one of your eyes. And I'm just going to be moving my fingers like this. Whenever you see the tip of my fingers, not my hand, but the tip of my fingers, just please tell me they will be wiggling. We are trying your peripher peripheral vision, which basically means how well do you see to the side as well. I'm going to cover my eye as, my eye as well, so we are going to look from eye to eye so that we have the same um like range of field okay so i'll just cover it and tell me when you see the fingers yeah great 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 yes now from this side yes great yeah perfect now the other one Great. Correct. Perfect. 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 Yes. Okay. Great. So your peripheral vision seems to be absolutely fine. So now let's check your eyes. Like this. I'm going to take this light. And I'm going to shine it into your eyes and I will see um, if you have a correct pupillary response perfect so basically what we are going to look at is whether the hmm, pupil constricts and constricts and dilates so let me just, just check we are going from the temporal side which means, which means basically like this okay so don't worry about it so from the temporal side yeah that's great now let me look at the other one yeah once more great now here again And we'll just ask you to follow the light for me if you can. Just don't move your head like this. Just keep it really straight and don't move it to the side and just follow with your eyes.
I'm just going to get really close to you and I'm going to look into your eye, okay? I'm going to look into your eye and I'm looking for any involuntary movements such as nystagmus or this basically means nystagmus where the eye is basically moving involuntarily it's like a tick and there are people with two red hairs but it is in your eye and it's doing constantly like shaking and trembling kind of okay yep. one more green now the side again yeah i was even visualizing i was even visualizing the borders of your um of your eyes and also the sclera where it is y and it is so now i'm just going to do a little pull down test with your eyes where i'm basically going to look at the conjunctiva whether it has the right color whether it might be infected or not okay so let me just pull down the eyes and the conjunctiva seems night night nice pink and moisty that's good yep so that seems to be that seems to be fine great okay now i want you to look at my finger right here at the tip now watch it get closer to you great perfect perfect okay so this seems to be fine now i'm just going to take going to take this feather and I will be touching you and whenever I touch you with this furry cotton ball please just tell me where did I touch you okay where it was your forehead mid forehead right side of the forehead or left side of the forehead okay where it was the tip of your nose great so let's go for it Yes. The middle of your forehead, perfect. Yes, your cheek. Yes, your left cheek. Great chin. The tip of your nose. She's right behind you, but there is a cat, cat, not cat, cat sitting and watching us working on you. And she seems to be really, really interested in what we are doing here. Great. So now let me take fingers again and it will be just 
patting on your face like this like this and you tell me if you feel it Because sometimes I ask people what they feel, how they feel, or is there anything that is bothering them and they just kind of cannot remember at the moment and that's alright, it also happens to me and then I just always realize like I, like, um, I forgot to say something so if there is anything, if there is anything, just tell me please okay do you feel like you have sometimes trouble with slight arrhythmia since the time? Do you think these are some kind of panic attacks? Maybe, possibly, okay. So I'm just going to take my yeah, stethoscope. And I will listen to you, okay? So I'll just listen. Okay. I'm just going to get a little bit more closer. Yeah. Okay. I think that seems to be absolutely normal.
you like to hear your heart beat yourself? Okay, just going to put it on you like this. You have it? Great. So I'm just going to release it. And it's in your ears now. Can you hear your heart beat? seems to be it. I'm just going to write my findings down. It truly does not seem like you have any troubles with your heart, but if you feel like you do at some point in time, just really quickly call an ambulance or come again to a cardiologist and they will examine you, okay? Perfect. So let me just write some things down so we do the orbital examination. I examination. Peripheral vision. Peripheral. Peripheral vision. or anything. It was really nice. Your cranial nerve seemed to be intact. Okay, so you won't be needing any prescription. So you won't be needing any prescription, which I would say is a really good news for you. Um, really glad that you made the accident just fine. So have a wonderful day and maybe see you another time. Who knows, right? Hopefully under better circumstances. Yeah. So bye.